Have you always wanted to become your own engineer while driving on F122? Have you always thought about this Mark guy, this Mark Priestley guy who has replaced Jeff? He's a bit annoying at times and you'd rather do it yourself. Well, now you can and I will show you how. Welcome everyone to another video with your favorite engineer on F122. My name is Badgerman and I will show you how you can become your own engineer and let's actually get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is head on over to team-telemetry.de. You head on over there, this is the website where you can download the team telemetry tool that I'm using and plenty of others are using by the way as well. You head on over to the download and you click on whatever this link is. Version for F122, uh, in my case, at the time of recording, it is version 0.5.0.55. Click on that, it immediately downloads right there. And when you open it, it looks like this. So you have racetrack, queue timing table, timing page, vehicle size. You have all these buttons here, but you don't know what they're doing, do you? Well, just click on them. at least a couple of them. I don't think you want to click on all of them. But this is basically what you get. And you can save this kind of layout. This is the layout that I usually operate with, where I can switch to this for qualifying. And then once qualifying's over, I just close this and this is my race layout. You don't have to use the same, but to me, it's the one that works the best. You have a couple of very important things here that you will not get from the F1 game. First off, you have the gap here to every driver, not just the two in front and the two behind. You can see your gap to everyone. You see warnings for everyone, not just penalties. The P is for penalties. This P is for position. You see everyone's best lap. You see the fastest lap of the race in purple. You see grid position. That's what GP stands for, where they started. You see weather in five minute increments. For every session, you can check rivals' data. You can check the ERS, how many warnings penalty. You, you can see that here, but you know, the ERS, the vehicle speed, the uh, whether their telemetry is public, their damage, their tire wear. That's what the percentage sign is for here. The tire temperatures, whether they have an ERS or a DRS fault. That's only applicable in uh, career mode. You can see their setup potentially. Sometimes it loads, sometimes it doesn't. Here you can see your own temperatures, damage in percent, tire wear in percent, obviously, uh, engine temperature, engine wear, rear wing damage, side pod floor diffuser damage, VSC, this is a delta for the safety car right here. That's really only if you engineer someone else. Uh, ERS mode will be shown here. Tire wear last lap, you can calculate tire wear to 60, 70%, how many laps to go on that tire. You can check the wheel slip on each of the four tires over the last minute or two. And you can see where you're struggling. That to me is crazy. Here you've got the track map, all the cars will be on that uh, as you were with a big green dot. The others with dots in the color of their tire choice, of their tire compound. So red dot for soft tires, yellow for medium and so on and so forth. You see corner numbers from 1 to 14, even corner names at some circuits. Melbourne, for example, has them. Not all tracks have corner numbers here listed. And you can even simulate a pit stop with a time duration of whatever you set it to. So you can enter any number. You can say, oh, this pit stop is going to cost me 22 seconds in total. So I'm just going to enter 22 and then it will simulate an extra green dot 22 seconds behind your current dot so you can see where you would come out. 22 seconds is not accurate for Melbourne. It's closer to 17. I mean, if you want to give yourself a little bit of a buffer, make it 18. If you want to find out where I know this from, well, 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 have I got something for you because I've got my very own track database. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for it. It has all the information you could want for all the circuits except Shanghai. In this track database, as you can see here, I've got the pit loss here at the back. You can copy this right now or you can uh, get yourself access to the track database with the link in the description down below. Check it out. And again, then you've got the live race timetable where you can see position, driver name, sector one, sector two, sector three. That's the last sector that they went, or the sector of this lap that they went through. So much information. I understand that, but you don't need all of it. But it's good to have. 
it's good to see, you know, if I were to pit, where would I re-emerge? Most importantly, this weather though, it updates. These percentages down here, they update all the time. Instantly clear information on how the weather is on track right now, beyond just the visual, knowing how much water is on track, because that percentage is not rain probability. That percentage is how much water is on track, basically. But how do you set this up? How do you make sure this actually gets the data it needs? Well, that depends on three things. Let's go through each case one by one. Case one, you run the game on the same machine that you run the tool on. Both the tool and the game are on the same computer. In this case, you go into game options, settings, you go into telemetry settings, change this IP to 127.0.0.1. All the other settings should be this way, by the way. UDP telemetry on, broadcast mode off, 127.001, 2777, 60 hertz, 2022, restricted. That is very important. If this is on public, other people can potentially nab your setup if they have the same telemetry tool. And show online IDs, right. This is a PSA, this is a public service announcement. Please, 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 whether you will use this tool or not, I want you right now, this very moment, pause the video after I'm done speaking the sentence and go into your game and turn on show online IDs. Do that right now. Now, the reason why is because if you don't, you really piss me off. <laughs> I say this as much as, as strongly as I can. You piss me off because if you have that off and I engineer a driver in your session, you will show on my screen, not with your name, but with your car chassis name, followed by your chosen car number, followed by the ID of your flag that you chose. So let's say you drive an Alfa Romeo, then your name would not show up as, I don't know, Destroyer123, shout out to you, don't know who you are. Um, <laughs> but it would show up as C43, which is the name of the chassis of the Alfa Romeo. Then your chosen car number, say 69, very nice number, uh, and then 113. I don't know what flag that is, but uh, usually the flag IDs are uh, over 100. So that's what you would show up as. You would show up as C4369113. You wouldn't show up as Destroyer123, which is annoying to me because it means that I cannot communicate as well with my driver about who is in front of him, behind him, who is he in a battle with, etc, etc. I have to say, oh, the Alfa Romeo over there, you know? I don't want to do that. So please turn these on, do us all a favor, show online IDs set to on. Let's go into case number two. Case number two is you're playing the game and you're engineering yourself, but you're playing the game on a different machine than you have the tool on. So let's say, for example, this is for my console people out there. If you're on PlayStation, you're on Xbox with your F1 game, but you have a PC you can run the telemetry tool on. It's not resource intensive at all, by the way, don't worry. Even a crappy laptop can run this thing. The IP wouldn't work. The easiest way to do it is to just turn on broadcast mode. If you're in the same LAN, if you're in the same network with your console and your PC, which you normally would be, then you can just turn on broadcast mode. Option number three, is only if you want to engineer someone else. This is no longer, I want to engineer myself, I want to have more information on my second screen. This is now all just about, I want to engineer someone else and be there for that driver. In this case, you have to turn the broadcast mode off again. You have to let that driver copy these settings, but change the IP address to whatever your IP address is. Yes, you have to give them your IP. Gotta trust them a bit. So let's say your IP is, and this is a random IP, this is not my IP or anything, and that's the IP. And then you've got that, or he's got that entered, or she, you know, we don't discriminate here. Uh, we wanna encourage more uh, women in motorsports. So he or she has that entered now, right? And then you should get that data. However, there's more to it. You gotta 
make sure that you open the port 2777. Don't change that port ever, by the way. But you got to make sure that that port is opened in your router. Now, I can't make a video on that because it depends on your router. There's a million different routers out there who all work differently. And you got to look it up. Usually you have a manual for it or your parents have a manual for it. And you got to read in that manual. You got to check in that manual uh, what the how the port opening or sometimes it's called port forwarding process works. On top of that, open the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. This one, not this one, this one up here with advanced security. You start here, you go to inbound rules, add a new rule, add the port, UDP, very important, this is UDP telemetry, not TCP, and specify the port 2777. Allow the connection, not just if it's secure, but allow the connection, and then you're good to go. That, that should be it, and now you can engineer your buddy when they're doing league racing, and you feel like, hey, I want to I wanna help him or her. If you are driving and you have yourself an engineer, don't be afraid to ask things. That's what the engineer is there for. He's there to help you, so ask things. Talk to us. Make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to watch plenty more F122 Engineering as well as F1 Manager 2022 videos. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and peace.